What would a language sound like that was spoken by an alien with two mouths? Let's find out. First, we're gonna need to figure out what this alien actually looks like. So let's put some pen to paper. But um bum bum drawing an alien. Drawing an alien. No, we're drawing an alien, and that's just what we'll do. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Now, another question we're gonna have to consider, are they gonna be able to speak with both mouths at the same time? I'm gonna say no, just cause that adds a whole nother layer of complexity, which would be very interesting. But you know, maybe they evolved to like eat with one mouth, speak with the other kind of thing. We're also gonna say each of these mouths is completely identical to a human mouth, except they don't have tongues. Cause that'll make things more interesting. So with that being the case, our friend will only be able to pronounce sounds that are made with two lips, like pa, ba, br, etc as well as sounds at the very back of the mouth, like huh. But there's also plenty of sounds that they can make that we can't. So I'm gonna give this language specifically a nice spread of those consonants that are available to us. So we've got ma, ba, a, ba, bra, fa, va, a, ha, as well as one vowel that can be reliably distinguished, a. And lest we forget, there's also don't think about it too hard. With all that out of the way, I think it's time to start building some words, grammar, sentences, all that sort of stuff. This could really go all kinds of different ways, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it and give us something we can use to get a feel for the language. I also, I forgot to give them hands, so maybe they, uh, maybe they move things telepathically? So instead of hello, they say, what's moving you? Actually, like this pen is my pen, right? Cause I'm holding it, but do you think two people could both move something at the same time if it was like like telekinesis. Would these aliens even have a sense of possession? Like, ah, oh, this is kind of interesting. You could say they make a distinction between things that are like inalienably part of you, haha, um, versus like things that you're actively moving maybe. There's actually plenty of human languages that make that very same distinction. Um, but I feel like you could take it even a few levels further, I don't know. All right, I'll figure it out along the way. But for now, let's hear what this language sounds like. Hop up, mo. Hop up,